Shalom, shalom. It's your brother, Mikael Ben Israel, coming at you with another Hebrews in the hood, Facebook live style. Like to say Shabbat Shalom to everybody. The Sabbath will be upon us in a few hours. So I'm gonna shoot that out to you before we get here. Um, I'm just gonna make this video real quick. It's been a lot going on the last couple of days. I see y'all filing in here. Yeah, let me see something. Can y'all hit me? If y'all can hit me, press one. Press one if y'all can hit me. Can y'all hit me? Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, so y'all know the last couple of days, uh, shalom, shalom. All right, thanks, Dave. Thanks, Bruce. Yeah, man, you know, last couple of days, it's been a little fun. I've been having a little fun, y'all know what I mean, with them uh, urban apologists. You know, they keep switching their name up. You know what I'm saying? They probably been called that, though. I don't know. That probably was one of their secret file names they had stashed away until we got hip on them, right? But the Christian Apologists, Shield, SOG, all the little names they get, right? So I've been having fun with them lately. Just basically just to tune them up a little bit, just to show them, like, you really don't know what you think you know. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot to learn. Humbly speaking, and this is literally coming from the most high, because I really didn't want to do play around with them. You know what I'm saying? But I've, I've taken this office, and I accept it with... Uh, uh, you know, I accept it with honor. Y'all know what I mean? So it's certain stuff I ain't gonna play about. So I wanna keep this real short. I'm only reading one verse. Like I said, tonight, you know, is the Sabbath. If this one verse gonna, gonna speak a million words, because as usual, it's something that's become cliche-ish. People read it, but they don't really, I don't think they understand it. And I'm gonna prove how I know they especially amongst the so-called Christian community. And you also see it, unfortunately, in the Israelite community. And I'm going to tell y'all what I mean. So y'all know that Deuteronomy 32 and 26, I guess, challenge. Uh, Ozzy got me saying challenge about everything now. But uh, the, the cut heard around cyber world that I put on uh, our beloved brother Jay, from uh, the Christian Apologist. If you're watching, what's up, Jay, man? You know, you got some nice tunes in your videos, man. You should stick to that, bro, till you've been in the book a little bit longer. But um, yeah, the cut, and he took the video down, dealing with Deuteronomy 32 and 26, right? Shalom, Jake, what up, Tom? And, uh, you know, didn't have an answer for it. I didn't expect him to. Even uh, the loud mouth one over there, faithful to God, or faithful to gig, um, uh, faithful to gig, my bad, y'all. Something popped up on my screen. I call him faithful to gig because he might be a computer virus. That brother, Mike Pereira, that's his name because I see him in loud mouth and jumping on brothers' uh, lives and stuff like that. I'm going to tell y'all, man, I don't even know a lot about the brother. You know, I ain't got too much. I ain't got nothing bad to say about him because I ain't with the personal stuff either. Just keep it scriptural. But, you know, he got real sensitive and got to talk because I cut Jay so bad. But at least I got some. Yeah, you know, and he didn't have to go. He didn't have to go to no Greek translation, no. Ancient Aramaic, no Atlantean. He ain't had to do none of that. He read it in clean English and knew what it meant, but he had never read it before. So his only response could be that that ain't happened yet. But now that he had time to think about it, you know, he snatched the video down and scrambled. And the next day he became a Monday morning quarterback. And y'all know what they say. Everybody is a Hall of Fame on Monday morning. But during the game, it was an epic L, you know. So faithful to God, I think that I call him faithful to gig because I believe he he's faithful to gigabytes because I, I I really don't believe he's a human. I believe the brother is a computer virus or 
a computer program because I ain't never seen this face. And the more I ask around, it seems ain't nobody ever seen this face. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even know if that Jake is a real person or not. But then again, I did see a video. I remember that rap video Sakari had put out there. And I see the picture flash, but I don't know who that was supposed to be. If that's who that, if that's who that is, that would really explain a lot. But again, I don't know why, who that was in that picture. So I'm not going to bear false witness because unlike a lot of them over there, I actually do practice what I preach, right? And so uh, I got to give it up to him. G-Man took the challenge. He is the first one from either one of those groups, SHIELD or SOG or whoever else, other three-letter dash word. You know, it's funny how they talk about the Hebrew Israelite caps and say we all are the letter boys and all that type of stuff, but then they wind up doing the same thing, getting acronyms and stuff. You see what I'm saying? It's all like, you know, it's like that when somebody want to be you so bad that they, you know, so so they can't, you know what I'm saying? It's that, that flattery type thing. But, uh, you know, uh, so G-Man accepted it. Uh, when I first brought it up to vocab, he literally said live on air on debate talk for you. Y'all can go check that he refused to answer that. He wasn't getting on that subject. And uh, like I said, my brother G Con, he he just got the stuttering. You know, he ain't know what to say. So he didn't address it. Uh faithful to God, I don't think I ever, I don't remember if I ever hit so real with that before, but I'm pretty sure he seen it and he never, he never try to address it either and so now you got um um what's the brother name uh oh g man he the first one he just made a video about me he didn't say my name but we all know it was about me because he actually was in the comment section i got it up here i could i don't know how to really screenshot on this facebook live but i actually got the comments so you could just go look at my video you'll see him in the comments or whatever and he's begging to debate me. But I clicked on his video and I got to get a brother one point that I've never seen from any of those others. He actually showed humility, y'all. He said in his video, Shalom, sus. He said in his video that he never read Deuteronomy 32 and 26. He said, I got to admit it. Y'all can watch the video yourself. I'll put it in the comment section after this. He said he never seen that. And now he's he's like, oh, you know, like I, I gotta admit, if this really means that they forgot their identity or people forgot them, which you don't know it's a little bit of both. He's saying this might be devastating for us. The Hebrew Israelites might have a case that the real Israelites had was gonna go through an identity crisis, right? He the first one to admit that from those cats over there. The rest of them, they either played like they knew it was there or they just skipped it off. And But this is what I got to tell you. That's as smart as your wits went, uh, brother G-Man. Because in the same video, he admit he ain't never seen it. Now, now he calling me for a debate already tonight. Now, if this something evidently I've been knowing for 15, 20, God knows how long, what make you think in a few hours you gonna be ready? But I got bad news for you, G man. It is the Sabbath tonight, and you know some of us actually do try to keep it holy on the Sabbath. And that being, come here. I'll, but that being said, I'm actually going to be. Um, I'm probably gonna uh, shalom. So I'm probably gonna. Uh, uh, I normally doing something with the class so i'm either going to be listening to sabbath day live class or whatever tonight so i know i won't be able to be on no platform for no significant amount of time i probably could peek in and out of there but i ain't gonna be able to be on there, G man so you should probably wait till like sunday and i might hop on there with you but the truth of the matter is that um the truth of the matter is uh you know, it's like Elijah, man. Elijah thought he was the last prophet on earth. 
And the most high had to tell him, man, I got 7,000 cats that ain't never bowed to Baal. And I think it was another 50 head off in a cave somewhere. So I'm not that silly to think I'm the only one that can deal with this. And that's my mo that's my MO. I just put something out there to spark a fire that I think probably Israel ain't, ain't you know, they ain't did it yet. They ain't took that route. I'm not saying they didn't know it, but you know, you know, I just put it out there. So now God got enough soldiers to handle that. So if somebody handled it before Sunday, before I get to it, then God's will is still done because it ain't about me. And, uh, you know, and, and I'm not silly either, G-Man. Uh, let me just tell you this too, bro. You said in that video that you even going to break your rule. And as in break your rule, I heard you say that you was going to get some secular books. I guess what, the Strongs or something like that. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something about this too. See, I, I got like the big old version too. So like you couldn't just Google away. But let me tell you something funny about that. Some people think I'm anti-Strongs. No, I'm not. But this is why this show is called Study to Show Thyself Approved. Now, G-Man, you said you're going to go as far as you got to look in the what? You got to have to look in the Latin, the pig Latin, and everything else to try to make it not say what it say. When in reality, you, you need to just accept what it say. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. It's people that literally, let's, let me read this to y'all first. This second Timothy is commonly used, but we're going to see if people really know what it means. What up, Brother Cortez? It says, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. Now, this the thing, man. A workman should not be ashamed, meaning that your fruit is going to show from your hard work and study. It's just like the workman with the workman's axe and all that type of thing. You know, when they talk about the pagan stuff in Jeremiah chapter 10. Now, it would have took a dude a nice significant amount of time to chop down that tree to be able to go take it somewhere, right? What the Lord said you're not supposed to do. But I'm using this analogy for a reason. It's putting in work. When you study in this book, it is putting in work. So you've approved yourself before God because he see you trying to find out the truth. Now, let me ask y'all this. If your teacher tell you you got a test in the morning and you better go home and study for that test, right? But then you go online and order some sheet of paper that tell you we got all the answers and these is the experts. And then you wind up the next morning and you take the test and you get 80% of the questions wrong. You know what? That's because you was lazy and you never went and studied the subject in itself. You tried to find an easy way out. And that's what Cat's doing with the Strong's Concordance. Have y'all noticed since the Strong Concordance has been popping, you know, with the Google PBS and all that, that everybody is a Bible scholar? Just sit back and listen to a debate now. They're going to be like, oh, well, that's a uh, number C90 uh, dash. That's the same word that's not, that's used. Oh, but they don't even know how to pronounce the word. So they taking somebody else's word for what version of this word need to go here. First off, that's strike one, because these cats that wrote this, that translated this, who, who, who said that this version of the word needs to go here, but not there. Ain't none of them Israelites. Teach. None of them. That's what I was saying. And the Teach. books say Israel possessed the oracles, not the stranger. The stranger got to come to us to be taught. So being that you won't even go when all the answers, you answer this book with this book. Why would I go outside this book with somebody that more than likely know less than me about this book to tell me about this book? I got another question. That would be like, could y'all tell me what book did the apostle, what extra biblical book? Now, I want y'all to hear me clear on this. Ain't nothing wrong with having some secular history to, to uh, bag up what you find in the scriptures and stuff like that. But when you go going to get a book to tell you about what this book means, when this book tell you what it means in itself, 
You have handicapped yourself already. You, you, you right back where you started, trusting in man over God. What happened to the Holy Spirit and all that y'all be talking about? You ain't got the Holy Spirit. You care about nationality too much. Well, evidently, you ain't got it. Your Holy Spirit is uh, John Fliggenberg, uh, Tony Suggenheimer, and all of these cats that's sitting around somewhere drinking coffee and smoking cigars that ain't followed none of the Torah in their life. But I digress. So, G-Man, to get back to you, I just wanted to say that study to show y'all self-approved. You know what I'm saying? All these new scholars that popped up because they lazy and they listening to everybody else. Like I told somebody, if you want to debate me in these 66, we can do it. Because, I mean, I could just start pulling out books and stuff. Everything y'all get, I get. But that don't mean everything is sound doctrine that I can depend on. Well, I've actually seen something in, in Psalms answer something in Timothy. When I had been looking for it all the time, and it was right there. But when I went and checked the experts, they didn't know what they was talking about. He said something different than that one said. But it was right here the whole time. Because y'all, please, I, oh, they hate Isaiah 28, bro. You know, they hate Isaiah 28, 10, and 13. You're not supposed to study. Language. And I'm glad he said this. This is why they don't want y'all to study line upon line and precept upon precept. They, they try to come up with everything. They basically say, rip that out the book. See, this is what they do. After a while we're dealing with us, they're going to have about four chapters left in the whole Bible. They're going to have to just keep ripping stuff out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm serious. I'm not taking them serious no more. Now, let me get back to my point. Could y'all please tell me what extra biblical book did the apostles run to to understand the Old Testament or the Tanakh? Or did they just read the Old Testament and study to show they self-approved to understand the Old Testament? You see what I'm saying? What did the first century Christians do? Even when it might have been a little translating error, they'd just go get somebody that could speak the language and tell them what it means. They would go into it or they'd get it translated and learn themselves how to read it. And then they would go there and they would see what it means. They didn't have to go get no extra book to tell them what they think that meant. So I'm trying to tell y'all, man, humbly speaking, at this point, y'all not fighting against the Hebrew Israelites. And there's some ratchet Hebrew Israelites out there. Y'all fighting against God. And that's why y'all keep looking foolish and more foolish and more foolish. I got you. Uh, Okay, bro, just one, you know how it go. Bro just came in here and slid me a verse, so I'm going to take it. Because ain't no big eyes on you. That's how we do it, yo. We, we form like Voltron. Let me see. Uh, So it's, uh, what's this? Acts chapter 24, what, verse 14? It say, uh, this is Paul, y'all. You know, the one y'all love so much. Y'all basically been baptized in the name of Paul. It say, but this I confess. Oh, I already see what this is. <laughs> but this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they call heresy, so worship I, the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets. Hey, man, they got a problem with that. They don't believe all things. They, they will cancel that out if they don't agree with it. They'll cancel it out or they'll say, Jesus did away with it. Like, Paul didn't study none of them. He ain't studied nothing. The word, the God of his fathers, the prophets, and uh, you know what he just said, the prophets. And so it's, fu it's funny, man. You know, it's just, it's pathetic. But I got to get this shout out because I ain't going to stay out here long. I know the Sabbath is coming tonight. But G-Man, I'm proud of you. And, I, and, and I'm not silly. I know about you getting kicked out of uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. or S.O.G. So this is kind of a political move for you because you are the first one. Like I said, vocab was ran from it. G-Con wouldn't deal with it. Faithful to God, tried to talk about my hair, said I look like a girl or something like that. But we don't know what he looked like. He could be a, a, a reptilian. No, let me stop playing. I don't believe in reptilians, but he might be a computer program. So, you know, while you fascinating over my beard, bro, with that little funny voice you get, you know what I'm saying? You need to be a man and show your face. If you show your face faithfully to God, I'll debate you. Okay, how's that? And it's going to be in the 66. 
We could just 66, just pick a subject. We could debate each other face to face in the 66. Until then, be the egg. And you know how to do that. Um, one last thing. Yeah, so G Man, I know you're trying to uh you really want to get back at your old squad members, you know, because they kicked you out. They did do you wrong. And um, I know you kind of immune, you don't have no nervous system to getting beat down. I've seen you running up on the Hebrews on the corner, but you got heart. If you get that wisdom up with your heart, you will be a deadly Hebrew out here. Because I'm telling you, you are Israelite. The more you keep staring at that Deuteronomy 32 and 26, I know now all them other verses you saying the Israelites was asserting actually starting to make sense. Ain't it? So, um, like I said, Israel, whoever go on that show tonight, you know, that's cool. Glorify the Most High. Uh, it's a real simple verse, but it is what it is. Like, you don't have to, uh, you know, become no monk and go sit in a cave for 40 days and 40 nights to figure out what it means. It's quite simple. And that talks about the simplicity in Christ. So some of the things in here are simple. Oh, that's one more thing I was going to say, too. Um, uh, let me see. You don't need nothing. Oh, and by the way, too, Jimmy, I'm, I, I supported you, bro, when they kicked you out. You know what I'm saying? I was in your comment, boy. This is Mikael, man. You just see Hebrews in the hood on the, and, and I guess they got you confused. So, yeah, y'all. Um, hey, hey, look, you know Israel. I said I was going to read one verse. Israel and walked in while I'm on the middle. <clears throat> He's steady sliding me verses, man. Well, he, my brother wanted me to read another verse. So that's that's the spirit of the Lord, though. So I can't I can't turn that down. Oh, hey, 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 well, well, what Jesus tell them when they ask them about the uh, parables, mm -hmm. why you speak in parables, it's for you to know the answer to us. You right. say it ain't for everybody. That, that's what they don't know. It ain't for everybody. What, verse 41? What do you want me to Your go? whole yellow section. Oh, I already had it. Oh, my whole yellow section. Yeah. I got highlight. Okay, y'all, this is a request from Brother Aza <laughs> from the wake-up show. Y'all, I'm putting him on blast, not since he keep dipping in my business. He been over here two days in a row stalking me, y'all. <laughs> so y'all apologetic cats and started some. Y'all done got him started. Okay. This is uh John chapter 8, everybody, verse 41. And it reads, Ye do the deeds. Nope, since you here, we're gonna do it in order. You read. Oh. Yeah, since we're gonna do it in order, <laughs> everything in protocol, like in the book of Nehemiah, how Ezra and them did it. All right. I ain't gonna get on camera because I don't know. Seeing this yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right. St. John 8 and 41. Ye do the deeds of your father. Mm. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Go ahead. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, if God, you hear this, ye would love me, for I proceed forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. That's so, and that's sad because he was talking to our people, to other Israelites. Mm -hmm. But this go for everybody. Listen, why do ye not understand my speech? Oh man, even because ye cannot hear my word. Mm. So it don't matter if it was in Hebrew, Greek, Greco, Latin, Latin, Pig, Latin, Atlantean, Martian. It don't matter. You just don't understand it because you don't want to. But go ahead. Forty-four. Ye are of your father, the devil, mm, mm, and mm. the lust of your father ye will do. Mm. He was a murderer from the beginning, from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. A father of lies. So that, sheep hear his voice. that might be something for y'all to think about. If you got to go to 999 fake Jewish scholars and all these type of people to figure out simple precepts, the truth might not be in you, man. And, and, and one reason that might be doing that, I'm going to go ahead and say it. When y'all get a chance, Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, you got to keep them commandments of God and you got to keep the gospel and the faith of Jesus Christ. Also, I believe it's Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Yeah. Read them. That's the last book in the Bible. But for some reason, Jesus got right back to talking the same way he was talking when they came out the wilderness and them big old commandments got put up there. So I say with that, uh, 
Uh, shalom, shalom, Israel. And uh, I hope y'all have a blessed Sabbath tonight. And study, study. Shalom.